Remember that this Friday, a section of I-70, the bridged section of I-70, is going to be closing down forever. I mean, it's going to be closed down forever. We've been driving on it for nearly 60 years, this bridge section right here, and we will eventually be driving in this low lowered section of I-70 right here between Brighton Boulevard and Colorado Boulevard. The viaduct is going to close down for good. Now, when the highway reopens next Monday, all six lanes of traffic will be in a new below ground area. The tunnel is about a thousand feet long and it's full of new technology, but what's really helpful for the drivers is a sensor just outside the tunnel. It actually looks like a camera, but it's actually a sensor that will balance the light inside the tunnel with the light outside the tunnel. We don't want someone who is driving down the roadway to have that, that shock factor when they enter and have their eyes taking 100, 200 feet to adjust. By the time their eyes adjust, now they're back out and they, they have to back adjust to the way it was, just the ambient light. So whether the lights need to be dimmed or turned up, the sensor's job is to make sure there's no shock factor there. And here's the important dates and times that you need to know about from the Mile High Switch. Now, Friday night, the highway is going to be closing down between basically Washington Street and I-270 at 10 o'clock on Friday night. And will be closed all the way, all through next weekend, uh, this coming weekend, until Monday morning at 5 a.m. The detour will take you on 270 and I-25. Now, tomorrow, I'm going to have some more details about what's going on, including when they were digging, they found some interesting things underground, including some fossils. I'll have that story for you coming up tomorrow.